Hey everyone, this is Josh with another crypto and blockchain tutorial available at chaintuts.com. And today we're talking about impersonation scams. This is a fairly common class of scam that I see in the cryptocurrency space. And what happens with this type of scam is somebody pretends to be, using the open nature of the internet, a noteworthy individual or company in order to extract cryptocurrency funds from their victims. I'm going to talk about what some of these scams look like with concrete examples that I have seen out in the wild, and I'm going to talk about ways that you can prevent being scammed. So let's start off with the first type of impersonation scam, and this is a fairly common impersonation investment scam. In these cases, somebody pretending to be a noteworthy individual in the space will reach out to you, usually using a cold contact, on a platform like LinkedIn, Instagram is very common, or even Facebook or somewhere else. An example of this would be people pretending to be Andreas Antonopoulos, or uh, in a case that I had, Roger Veer. These are both people that are known to be uh, prominent individuals in the space that do a lot of work with Bitcoin, promoting Bitcoin, education. And so somebody will just create a fake account on Instagram, reuse this person's profile picture, and pretend to be them. And they'll reach out and say, oh, hey, I'm working on a great new project, and I'm looking for mentees to... Um, learn how to use my new trading system and make a bunch of money. Uh, one example that I ran into that was, that was rather fun was a fake Roger Veer. Uh, somebody pretended to be Roger and they wanted me to invest in their platform and learn how to be a Bitcoin miner and I was going to make a bunch of money doing this. Well, I had some time and so I played along and uh, used some interesting tactics to kind of waste their time. For example, they sent me to a fake investment website that asked me to deposit Bitcoin. And using some inspect element magic and some screenshots, I changed the deposit addresses on that website in the screenshots to my addresses and sent myself some Bitcoin. When I sent them screenshots as the proof that they demand that I made a deposit, I got to sit back and enjoy watching their confusion. These types of scams, uh, it seek to directly extract Bitcoin from you. So they want you to basically just send them money with the promise of some large return. You never want to do that because cryptocurrency transactions are irreversible. So once you send this person, say, a $500 Bitcoin deposit with the promise of some $10,000 return in a couple weeks, they're simply going to take your $500 and run. The second type of investment sort of scam is the impersonation doubling scam. This was most noteworthy when many uh, prominent Twitter accounts were compromised through a uh, vulnerability in, in one of Twitter's systems, and people like Andreas and Elon and other prominent people in the space linked to websites that asked you to send some amount of Bitcoin and receive double back in return. This type of scam works by saying, oh, if you send me 0.5 Bitcoin, I will send you one Bitcoin back. It's the promise of a uh, double return by simply sending them some Bitcoin to verify your address. Now, in Bitcoin, there is no such thing as sending coins for address verification. Any valid public address is all that someone needs to send you Bitcoin. So like, for example, if you want to send me Bitcoin, all I have to give you is the address. Uh, you never have to send money to my address. I never have to send money to your address to verify that. This is, again, taking advantage of the irreversible nature of crypto transactions in order to take your money and run. So you will send them half a Bitcoin for the promise of one back, and they will simply keep that money. And there's nothing that you can do to get it back. Again, this usually uses um, nice, modern look and feel websites and uh, somebody pretending to be a prominent person in the space. Like, oh, Elon Musk is rich, so he's giving away a bunch of Bitcoin if you send it to him. Don't fall for it. Never send somebody cryptocurrency with the promise of them doubling it back to you. 
Now, the final type of scam is a little bit more complex and difficult to spot. And this is the impersonation recovery scam. And this takes two common forms that I have seen. The biggest one that you really have to watch out for is the impersonation support scam. And what I mean by this is scammers will pretend to be Coinbase support or blockchain.com wallet support or Exodus wallet support. They will pretend to be the support uh, helpline for one of these companies and they target people that post publicly on forums that they're having problems or they try to fish by getting their fake support websites high up in Google or DuckDuckGo search results. So for example, somebody pretending to be blockchain.com wallet support will do something like ask you for your seed phrase or ask you to give them a two-factor authentication code. Never ever give this information to anyone claiming to be support. No legitimate company will ever ask for or need your seed phrase or your two-factor authentication codes. What this will be used to do is it'll be used to sweep the funds out of your wallet. If you give somebody a seed phrase, they have direct access to your money. They have direct access to the private keys used to control your Bitcoin or another cryptocurrency, and they can send that money to wallets that they control. The other thing is with two-factor authentication codes, no company will ever need that to verify your identity over a support line. They will use that to reset access to your account without your password. So for example, if you're talking about an exchange like Coinbase, they won't ask for your password, which seems more secure, but they'll ask you to verify a 2FA code. What they're actually doing is they're trying to initiate a password reset and they need your 2FA code to complete the password reset and essentially lock you out of your account so they can steal your money. Um, that's not good. So never give anybody claiming to be a company support private information. They will only need something like maybe your account email or something like that. And even then, you have to be careful. So what you need to do if you do need support from a company like Coinbase is only go to their main website and only interact with support agents directly through the contact information they provide on that website. Their phone numbers, their email addresses, their live chat. Um, be careful if you Google it and never trust anybody reaching out to you on a public forum like Reddit or Instagram or Facebook claiming to be support. The second sort of class I've seen of this is similar to the impersonation investment scams where somebody will pretend to be a prominent individual and endorse a fake recovery company. So there are tons of fake recovery scam companies out there that prey on victims of investment scams or doubling scams or other ways in which people uh, inadvertently lose their cryptocurrency. And so for example, I've seen people pretend to be Andreas Antonopoulos or pretend even to be myself and endorse fake recovery scammers on Instagram or something like that. Uh, if you're out on YouTube, or you're out on Instagram and you see comments that say, oh, contact hacker Jim on Instagram, he got my Bitcoin back. Those are always scams. No legit uh, legitimate recovery company exists that spam advertises on YouTube. Uh, and again, the nature of cryptocurrencies is that in most cases, if you send crypto to somebody, there is no getting that money back. So be aware of people pretending to be companies or individuals in the crypto space claiming that they can help with recovery. In most cases, it's not possible. So this has been a look at impersonation scams. Again, a very common class of scam in the cryptocurrency space that unfortunately does lead to people losing hundreds and sometimes thousands of dollars worth of Bitcoin or other cryptos. Be careful out there. Always control your own funds. Never give any money to anybody claiming they can make outrageous returns for you. And always keep your private information like seed phrases, passwords, and 2FA codes private because nobody else will ever need that information from you. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for learning something new with me today.